Hey guys, it's Gentry. It is Monday, April 13th, 2020, and it's 1.30 p.m. Uh, part of the reason I'm going to start off saying that is because, honestly, things change now, hour by hour, day by day, and I think that's been our new norm uh, for at least a month now. Um, if this is our first communication in a while, obviously, I hope uh, you're staying safe, practicing caution, as we all... Um, try to get through this. Uh, that said, point of this video is to just hop in and actually speak out. I've been super, super quiet for the past really month um, as we as we get through this. I mean, big, big fan of, of platforms like Instagram and I'm usually all too happy to take part, give advice. But um, as we're all well aware, we don't need to belabor that point, things have very much changed. And the only thing I'm qualified to be speaking to is the residential real estate market in Charleston. So that's what we're gonna to speak to. Uh, is it a good time to buy? Is it a good time to sell? Investment property. Those are three areas we're gonna cover. Um, after this, obviously, I'd love any interaction feedback, yada, 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 but this will be my quick state of the, not union, but just state of, of the market uh, as of today. Um, so in the past month, um, what we've, what we've seen, if, if usually this time I'm going hundred miles an hour, I'm going to be perfectly honest. We're going at 40. We were deemed an essential service, uh, as, as well as several other, uh, the legal components that allow you to still close real estate. So we're still doing closings, which is good. I mean, I, it, it keeps a big portion of the economy churning. Uh, we're still able to do closings, we're showings on a very, very limited basis. Uh, if anything, you know, it's made things, technologies that we've had for a while, like 3D tours, way more prevalent. And I think helped people kind of get used to utilizing those sorts of platforms. So knock on wood, I'm actually hoping that that becomes something that's a little bit more industry standard um, and helps all of us maybe over time expedite this process so that it's so industry standard. You can walk through places, see floor plans and, and maybe weed some spots out that you don't even have to waste the time driving there anymore. So uh, that said, um, yeah, if, if we usually are going 100 miles an hour, and we certainly were January, February, it kind of feels like 40 right now, uh, for lack of a better analogy. Uh, so on the buy side, I'm just going to share things that I've been saying direct to clients of my own uh, with you, and if it provides any value, great. Uh, so on the buy side, what I've been telling people is the same sort of narrative as always, which is it is 100% based on your financial situation, right? As per usual, you have two options in, in housing uh, on the whole, which are you're either gonna pay 100% interest to a landlord, or you're gonna pay partial interest to a bank. Now we can debate you know, uh, whether it's a good idea to purchase based on things like, what's your time frame of owning that home and closing cost and, and of course value, uh, and values, hey guys, uh, if you've been on the fence and you're liquid, you know, I think we're starting to en enter a gap here where it may be a little bit more of a, a buyer friendly situation. Um, so, so yeah, you have those options and therefore you got to make the decision. Am I going to rent? Buy? Do I uh, prolong my rent? And it's going to always depend. You know, how much money do you have to put down? Does it make sense? Am I going to be in here for, you know, five months or five years? Those are all things that are going to weigh in. Um, if you're going to you're going to purchase, you know, you can always write off things like your mortgage interest. Those things have not changed. So if it's a personal purchase to put a roof over your head and it's a, a decent enough opportunity where you feel financially stable to do so, hey, still a good idea, right? On the sell side, uh, what I've been telling and sharing with my listing clients is, hey guys, um, people are still buying things. You know, uh, we we've closed personally several deals since all of this has happened. We've put several listings under contract. Have people put things on pause? Sure, they definitely have. I mean, if if I if I had a family, especially kids that, that were home and both, both mom and dad are working from home, I'm very much understanding why people are withdrawing uh, homes from market or, or putting the, the pause button on getting listed right now. So that said, if you have the ability to push it out there and you're not trying to set the world on fire in regards to price, you're actually getting uh, more exposure digitally. Uh, you're not gonna get as many people uh, coming to the house physically. In fact, a lot of people have limited that uh, due obviously to safety concerns regarding the virus, but um, you're getting a ton of exposure digitally 
And for those that provide a really robust marketing package in regards to uh, 3D tour, floor plans, things I've alluded to already, it very much is helping and uh, that market continues churning. Again, you're probably not gonna set the world on fire in regards to price, uh, but if you need to make the move, people are still uh, out and about and, and this industry is still moving. Now, for you investors, a lot of people are already hopping in and uh, thinking that this is a wonderful time to maybe take advantage, right? And it could be, right? There's always an opportunity in both you know, flush markets and down markets, bear, uh, bear and bull markets, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that said, you know, I've talked my, myself out of a commission or two in just the past week with, with uh, former clients and friend where I'm just practicing what I preach and preaching what I practice, right? So um, I personally am not making any huge purchases right now from an investment perspective. I'm a pretty conservative guy, so uh, while the market's super, super volatile, I see some of you out there trying to get in and, and you know, ride a couple of days. I'm a big long-term macro thinker. So uh, if you're doing a buy and hold uh, situation or you're, you're certainly doing a flip, man, the margins need to be really, really, really good because again, as a local real estate agent, you know, our, our industry tends to project a lot of noise. I mean, you hear a lot of tone deaf people saying things like, could you see yourself getting quarantined in this house? Uh, or even projecting uh, that in Q3, we're going to see an explosion and things are going to be back to normal. And I'm like, could, but you know, we could also see a large volume of people defaulting on their loans because of, of things like mortgage forbearance taking place that a large people, uh, I'm sorry, a large percentage of people uh, did that, that we didn't realize. And if they lost their job or something terrible happened, they may not be able to make those payments. What does that look like? Is the government going to provide stimulus there or some form of bailout for individuals? We don't know. I mean, not that long ago, there was a very real risk that I didn't have a single closing the rest of the year if the uh, courts closed, which for about a 48 hour period looked realistic. So um, that's why I just, I preach caution in terms of any investment. Of course, if it's a screaming deal, sure, take advantage of it. But um, you, you really got to make sure you've got your numbers down pat because I, I just fear people that bought um, and are running on very tight margins are probably feeling a lot of pressure right now. So. Uh, anyway, those are just general overview of the buy, the sell, the invest side, all of which, of course, um, you know, I'm advising people on every day. And I just hope that maybe provides a little bit of value to you. I'm going to be hopping on and doing a Zoom call with, with my assistant. We may have a few people in there live as well to ask, uh, do a little Q&A. Uh, now that I feel a little bit more confident in just seeing where we're at. Uh, through all this. But uh, of course, if you have direct questions and don't want to make it a public forum, you can always reach out to me. Text me direct 843-730-4454 or email me gentry at 843living.com. Um, or of course, you can always follow your boy and DM me direct at Gentry Todd on Instagram. Um, again, guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, hopefully this provided even just a smidgen of value or maybe just some relief from watching that guy in Oklahoma who owns a bunch of tigers. Anyway, uh, cheers on a Monday and thank you as always. Bye.